I introduced you. I'm going to say this is a friend of mine. That means you're a connected guy. Hmm? Now, if I said instead, this is a friend of ours, that would mean you would make guy. Hey, Kabish. What's going on? How are you doing? I'm good. Uh, So last time we talked, you were real excited about getting in the cage and getting your belt back. You said it. You never lost it. It was taken from you, and you wanted to earn it back, and something happened with your body. Walk me through what happened a couple days before the fight. Yeah, it wasn't actually, it wasn't a couple of days before. It was a couple of weeks prior to that. Um, so I think two weeks before the fight, um, you know, I was having symptoms where my urine was, was like dark brown. Uh, my legs were shaky. Uh, pretty much I was not recovering at all. You know, obviously those are signs, right, that there's something wrong. My wife being a nurse too, she's like, yeah, I'm hoping that you don't have rhabdo. I'm, I'm I think that you do, but I hope it's not that. Uh, you should go get checked. And, you know, um, I just never did. I never went and got checked until the week of because I just wasn't recovering, um, which was, you know, bad on my part, obviously, right? And, you know, fighting, training, you think you don't think much of it, right? When you're cutting weight, uh, training hard, you just think that it's just part of it, right? Also, I'm also older, an older, older end. And, um, you know, my body just not recovering like I used to. Uh, used to. So I know you were there cornering some guys from your team and you watched that fight. It's a pretty exciting fight. How excited are you to now step in and fight Darren still for that title? I'm excited, man. It's going to be a tough fight. Um, you know, he, he beat um, Brian. It was at a different weight, but what, he took it on like, what, two days notice, three days notice, and and I don't even think that he really was even training for that fight, right? Yep. He looked, he looked, I mean, honestly, he kind of looked out of shape as far as, to me, he looked like he got tired quickly. But he hung in the whole five rounds. He ended up winning the fight. So now he has a camp. Um, he's known about this fight with him and I for some time now. So I get to fight the best of him. Nice. So I'm excited about that. I'm prepared myself to, like, I'm actually out here in Colorado right now for my last hard week of training that I was going to ask. So we're about a week out. How's the body and training camp and all that going for you this time? It's good, man. I'm feeling good. Um, although Sunday night when I flew in, you know, it's like, it was freezing here, like freezing. So I flew in Sunday evening, uh, got my room, got settled. And then the next morning, first thing in the morning, we, we trained, um, at uh, Sensei Ludwig's, Dwayne Ludwig's gym, Ludwig Martial Arts. We did a training session, and my body was just kind of shot at first. And I haven't been up here in Colorado for probably six, seven months. Right? I, usually, I used to come here all the time for my camps and all that. This time around, I spent most of my camp back home with my team. Um, But back to when I flew in on my Sunday evening, I was already feeling cold. The next morning, went to train, and right after that training session, I was like, oh, shit. My legs were shaky. My pee was dark. I was like, there's no way. I, and I, I wasn't feeling right. I was like, there's no way I have rap. Like, yeah. You know, I've been checking the keto sticks and making sure my levels are okay, too. Things was getting in my head all uh, Monday. I had a hard training in the evening. And then I was like, let me sleep this off. Maybe it's just altitude sick, like, you know, altitude sickness and the next morning i was like shh, i was up and ready to go so nice. and i had a good training session yesterday good so, yeah I'm, I'm good to go i had a good training session this morning you know all these guys are um pushing me past my limits and, and i feel fine my body's good so we're not overlooking darren because we know he's a game fighter i'm just throwing the prospect out there you win this fight you get the interim belt how excited does a finally getting the fight with you and Brian to solidify, no, no, this is my belt. Is that exciting for you? Are we aiming for that? Yeah. I mean, we got to see, I take it one fight at a time, right? I don't, I don't want to look past Darren, obviously. Um, Brian, that fight with Brian does interest me. Um, But at the same time too, like I said, I'm going to be, I'm going to be facing the best Darren and Brian faced, you know, but Darren coming in a couple of days notice, a few days notice. So um, 
yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I'm, I'm up for any challenge, man. I don't care who it is. You always are um, and always have been. Uh, all right. I'm going to ask you three quick questions. Just first one that comes to mind. When you were a little kid, the movie that you put in that you always had on repeat that you had to watch. You know what's funny, man? I was watching your interview with uh, uh, Albert Tadavos and Team Metal Mind too, And I was preparing myself, too, because I knew you were going to ask these questions. And I was sitting there thinking, like, man, what movie did I always watch when I was a kid? Um, probably with my, my young brother, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, three, uh, that, Three Ninjas, and um, Surf Ninjas, I think. Was the movie surf all the time. ninjas surf ninjas was so good i forgot about surf ninjas uh what uh you're working through the week what's the cheat meal you're looking forward to and you're gonna ask that question too um so and that's partly the reason why i'm wearing this shirt here my nutritionist who's been working at um working my camps the last i've been with her for over a year already now but i don't i don't need a cheat meal man i i eat good i've been eating good Every meal is good. Every meal is really? solid. I have, yeah, and I really don't need a cheat meal. If nice. I was to give you my my menu right now that she has for me, you'd be like, "How? How are you eating like that, man?" Nice. I eat I eat pretty well, so I don't I don't need anything to cheat like to cheat on another week. All right, well, I'm you good. know what the next question is going to be. If you could compare yourself to one fighter out there right now, who would it be? Um. I trained with him a couple of times, a few times before, and I was, you know, I trained at 13 for a little bit for a few months, several months, but probably be a Mighty Mouse. Oh, nice. That's a good answer. Solid. Mighty uh, Mouse would be. All right, man. Well, good luck with the rest of the camp. Stay healthy, and uh, I will see you at weigh-ins. All right. Thank you. All right, sir. Thank you. Once again, the show is presented by Combat Games MMA.